got the seal ready to go in now. So it's two seals in one, so I just need to get that flush. Um, so I'm just going to use this tool to knock her in. Where to put my hammer? I'll put some oil around it. She's got some oil around her so she can slip in. I'm going to knock her in. I'm happy with that, so I'll give her a blowout again. Was it compressor? <sighs> really shouldn't be doing this, is it? Because I'm really not very well. I've had a migraine for the last four days. Uh, my cheek and my face is hurting. So, it's been a chow on. Right, now that's done. The all decks has to go on now, doesn't it? Um, so, I should only have one seal left. That's all I'm done. Yeah, that's them done. So basically, I've just got this seal to go in to the... Uh, to uh, this, isn't it? Yeah, this. So it needs to go in there. That's nice and smooth. Get some oil. Put it on the inside. And put some on the, the, bar, uh, the seal as well. Get it sealed up. Nice. And we'll push this in. Only problem with doing this is you can't get it perfectly straight. It's the same again, use the same thing. And just tap her in. Let's flush that. Have a look from this side. Yeah, pretty good. Going a bit this side. Just a touch more on this side. Perfect. Right, so they're in. So now, basically, it's got a bit of grease in. We need to put that in there. I've oiled that up. That one's oiled up. Put some more on it, like. Should be on the safe side. some grease grease I mean oil <laughs> oh really not very well oh god I feel awful awful I feel right 
Let me get this cleaned off. This has all been scotch bright down, all this, just so you can uh, seal up pretty well. Just give that another go to be on the safe side. I'll try to keep it as clean as possible. It's been in the house most of the time. Dog, get out the way! So the diff's made it back into its natural habitat where it was meant to be in the house. So. Right, so. Clean this up and give it. Right, I'll give you a clean as well. Sure, she's nice and clean. I have cleaned this a, a dozen times. I've cleaned it over and over and over again, um, just to make sure I'm not putting any dirt inside it. Hopefully, I haven't. So I'll put some oil on there. It's got oil on there. So there we go. Right. So now I want to. Gasket seal on. Right, so this stuff, I want to try and keep it basically in the middle and round, so when it spreads, it doesn't push it all inside, and I don't want to put a great deal on either. As you can see, I don't use a lot of this stuff. Hopefully, when it squishes, it doesn't put a load inside. Right, let's get this on. Where did I put the bloody bolts? Seal. Right, so we've got some small ones, and we've actually got one longer one, and that one's a bit longer. I think. So. No, they're all the same. Just one longer one. So what you do? Is you just get one of these, and you check them. a small one so we'll get the small ones out of the way first eh? that one could take a long one so I've got that one so I've got that one that's too long for that it's too long for that It's 
so long for that. I believe it's that one. Yeah, it's that one. Cross pattern. This ratchet's a nightmare sometimes. Right, let's talk these off. Lock that. It's not even tight. Right, so on the holodex now, I've cleaned all this out. Um, that's the old cap, the old nuts. I've also give it a spray out with the uh, compressor, that's why I didn't place a shit tip. Compressor is always a shit tip. Uh, so, just need an arm key to tighten these bolts up. That's the one. I just had to stop for about a couple hours. Uh, Neighbour came over, needed his van fixing because he was selling it tomorrow. So he changed the fuel filter and there was a leak in one of the seals on the filter. So that needs changing when he gets a chance. Uh, Ford Connect. Uh, there's a like, little clip at the top, you turn it, pull it up, lets the fuel out the bottom. With a seal at the top, that was gone. So, it was causing it uh, to suck air in. And plus when we changed the filter, all the crap that came out of it. That's some of the fuel that you ended up taking out. A few bits and bobs on the inside of that. Not very good. So that's the Haldex now. Cleaned up. Uh, it's got a new filter in. Got the new oils in there. Um, let's get the sealer here. Let's put the seal on. Put some oil around that actually. Caught it in oil. I 
help if I put some Loctite on, wouldn't it? Right, I'm up to 65 Newton meters. That was 30, 29, 29, 29, 30. So I got sick of looking on Google because I'm getting conflicted messages all the time. So one person saying so many Newton meters, another person says this many and that many. So I've come and got Vida instead. Uh, and they should give us the talks on the outside. It won't give us the, the opinion, but we've already done the opinion and I tested the opinion. Um, with this um, in kilograms, so it went up to just over four, four point, well, nearly five kilograms. Um, so, out as best I can, clean this as much as I can, and now I'm gonna put some oil in. Just put a little bit of pipe on at the end of there. So we've got the transmission oil going and I've tried to get it as level, level as I could. I think it's actually full. Yeah, it is. Right, I think these are 30, 30 newton meters. That's it. me thing where have I put it? Oh for God's sake. Typical. There we go. Right, that's full as well. We're ready to get this in. Expecting that.
so we didn't get the other drive shaft now. I need to pull this round. So I'll get the other. Uh, oh. That's the only thing we have new there. You can't bloody see. So I'll get the other uh, jack and jack that up so I can get the drive shaft in. Sure, it went through there. Over the top of the. I've put copper slip on uh, the side, lightly where the, the diff is. I've only put it on like there. So now I can take it out. It's been leaking slightly, so I'll check the levels again. I'll put that without damaging the, the seal. Not easy this like not easy. Oh, come on, get in. Oh, it sits in. Right. So I've got the so that's the, the brake caliper and the, the drum. And I have I've lifted it up like that on the um with the jack so I can now put the drive shaft in. And then what I can do is I can lower it down so it comes up flush and then I can push the drive shaft in. Otherwise I wouldn't have been able to move it because it'd have been there and then the drive shaft would have been catching. So with this lifting it up, it can just slide underneath. Now I'll lower it down onto the drive shaft. So now basically I need to put the two bolts in. This one goes underneath. It's either underneath or on top. I know what I mean. There it's on top screws through from the top over and then the plate goes on over the top of these two nuts here that I've painted <laughs> um, hook the exhaust back up um, hook the Holtec plug back up, connector back up and then basically we've got to go onto this wheel tighten up the, the rear chassis tighten that up, make sure everything's tight on the wheel um, and uh, make sure I haven't overstretched anything I would have said it was them. And then these are going to be for over there. Right, so we'll get this tightened up. Oh. And then we need to do the rear subframe. We'll get that torqued up to spec as well. Off, you'll have to set it up again. So, I had a thought would it stay to its last and then torques it? But never mind, at least we know for next time. Get up there. Oh, 
guys. Alright, so just jack, jack that up. Let down a bit. To get that in position. Oh, I've got to clean that up. To clean this up quickly. That's it. That's it. Tight. Tight. That's tight. That's tight. That's tight. And the bottom one's tight. That's done, that's done. Didn't take that off. That's done, that's done. And what was the drive shaft again? Uh, we saw a plus one bird leaking in on control. Wheel hub front, wheel hub rear. It's 50 newton meters. And it's a two. 12, is it 12? 13 then? 13 That's it Alright, let's chuck the wheel on now We've got the battery on charge because uh, we've got a parasitic drive oh. and it's uh, I know what it is, I've already tested it. It's the alarm uh, siren module. <coughs> it's drawing power. Way too much power. Right, one needs something to kneel on. Oh, where are you going? Sit. Bloody thing. There we go. Oh, You know what, I'm not going to make you watch me do all this. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to spin the wheel. Spin that round to the next two. And then I'll talk them up as well. I'm not even going to let you watch it. It's no point. That's done up now. That's on. Exhaust's on. That's done. Everything's tightened up up there. Wheels on. So all the wheels need talking now. And they need talking to spec. Every one of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jack up that wheel and then I'm going to run it um, on the jacks uh, just to see what she sounds like. Um, all the oils are done, filters done, nothing's leaking and it's all bolted up nice and secure. So um, yeah, next thing's next step, uh, run it, I'll clean all this out. So yeah. It's done. What more can I say? There's no noise. The only noise now is the tyres. Um, it's just tyre noise. 